what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Finally, finally, finally doing the first video on the Iron 883. If you're new to my channel, this is my new old to me Iron 883 2019. Um, and over here we have my 2020 Lowrider S. And over here we have my 2015 Dyna Lowrider. So let's just take a walk around this bike real quick. Give you guys a nice little close up. This bike is completely stock. It has not been molested yet. So we have a complete stock 2019 Iron 883 that I just picked up uh, a few weeks back. Used, obviously, 3,000 miles on it. Uh, picked up for a pretty decent price. It's basically brand new still. Uh, we're gonna be changing a few things out. I actually have some pipes coming in through tomorrow and a brand new air cleaner as well. So we're gonna be doing some mods. Also, I got an LED headlight coming in as well. So uh, if you're looking for some Sportster content, you're definitely in the right place. So go ahead and make sure, like, comment, and subscribe, hit that bell button so I notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Um, so if obviously you're looking at this, it's because you're looking to buy uh, an Iron 883. Alright, so like I was mentioning before, if this is the first time you're on my channel, just know that I had this bike. This was my first bike, and this is the reason why I wanted to make this video today, because I wanted to let you know everything you should know before buying this bike. Especially from my point of view, I had it and I sold it and now I have another one. So I, I'm kind of giving you the best view out there right now. Oh, the sound of a stock Harley. You gotta love it. Psych! <laughs> so this is obviously gonna be a part two because I already have a video with everything you should buy. So if you want to see that video, I'm gonna look up at the end. Um, it's me two years ago <laughs> talking about the bike content is going to be different uh quality of the video is going to be different but i'm going to look it up at the end because that video has done very very well for itself it has around 290,000 views so i mean i guess it's a good video if you want to say that um hopefully we'll make this video an even better video right so let's get into it this 2019 iron 883 the reason you're probably gonna be looking at this bike is because a you are a new rider and you want to get into a small bike a small cruiser at that b you're looking at a uh, affordable bike to get into as well uh this being the cheapest harley davidson you can buy uh for this year they did raise the price on the sportster uh this bike used to be 8600 um out the door i think now it's around 94 or uh, if not even higher correct me if i'm wrong uh so they did give it a price bump this year and for what reasons we don't know because it's the same exact bike they didn't change not one thing on it the bike still doesn't it still doesn't even have led lights the 2021 is gonna be the same exact thing as 2019 which is insane so like i was mentioning same exact bike right um it, it's for what it is I, I think it's it's a great starter bike if you're looking into the um, the cruiser market if you're coming off let's say a sport bike or anything like that this is not the bike for you you're gonna want a brand new bike the second day you have this just because the power is not there right so this is perfect this is why i wanted to make this video because i had this bike and I had this bike for over a year. I did a bunch of modifications on it. And within a year, I wanted more power. I felt comfortable enough where I said, you know what? I learned what I needed to learn on this bike. I became a better rider, but now I want something else. I definitely wanna, you know, have something that I can have, uh, you know, my wife ride on it, if anything. It's going to be powerful enough for me to get on the highway and not worry about being left behind. Um, it's going to be good enough for me to hit those long miles and not worry about gas mileage. Ah, that topped out quick. <laughs> yeah, those long miles, those long trips that you're going to want to do, um, 
you're, you're not gonna be able to do that. You're gonna have to, you know, stop quite a few times, which is also okay. This is a three gallon gas tank. So out of this gas tank, you're only gonna get about 145 miles out there. So 145 miles is good for you to pull over, gas off, stretch your legs out, get a bite to eat, get something to drink. Not bad. Some people just, they, they, they wanna keep going 200 miles and fill up. Um, and th those are gonna be for the really, really long trips. Um, I have seen people do long trips um, around the country in these bikes and they do it mostly just to um, prove a point that it is possible you could do it um, but is it convenient enough to do it is it the best option hell no it's it's nowhere near the best option to do long miles on this bike this is the perfect bike for around a town if you're gonna be bar hopping if you want to you know cruising a little you know from one town to another town to another town it's, it's good for that um, it's good for those guys who who get up on a Sunday morning and just want to go out there and get some coffee with their other buddies on bikes and then come back home. Perfect bike for you. Uh, also the perfect bike for a city environment just due to the fact that it's so small, it's nimble, it's light. And yes, it is light, but is it really, really light? No. Compared to other cruisers, yes, this bike weighs around 450 pounds or so. Um, Compared to other ones that are 600, 700, 800, it is light, but it's still a heavy bike. Um, is it a beginner's bike? Uh, that's up to debate, right? Is it a beginner's bike for someone who hasn't, who hasn't had any experience? Mm, yes and no. Is it a fun bike? Yes. Peppy? Yes. Ugh. Suspension? Sucks. So that's one thing you should know. You're probably gonna, if you're gonna get this bike, you're going to want to upgrade your suspension. Because this has a very short suspension, very stiff at that, and you're gonna feel every little bump, and those big bumps will hurt your back. You will feel that pain run up and down your back. Trust me, I've been in those. Uh, so let's talk about now that we're talking about upgrades. Let's talk about that. Um, being a Harley Davidson, Harley Davidson is just so famously known for its uh customizable parts. Third party options out there are insane, especially for this bike. This is probably one of the longest running uh platforms there is. The Iron A83 on the Evo engine, a super reliable engine. Um, this is definitely the type of bike that if you're gonna want to have for. Now, if you are a brand new rider and you're getting on this bike, this bike is gonna have plenty of power for you to start off. Um, like I said before, I, after a year, I went ahead and I changed and I upgraded to my 2020 Lowrider S. Um, but I already also had experience riding from years ago, right? So that also has to do with it. But it's also gonna depend on the rider. Um, let's talk about the controls right here. This is going to be your basic Harley Davidson controls. Same controls you're going to see on my bike, on my 20 Low Rider S or on my 15 Dyna. You're going to find on here. Uh, the bar setup is very, very comfortable, I must say. Um, I actually, I'm a fan of this bar setup. It looks nice. It feels great. It feels comfortable. It's definitely something that you can spend the whole day riding on. If your butt doesn't start hurting as much after two hours, which I guarantee you it will. Uh, but as far as seating position, you're definitely upright. Um, and it's a very, very comfortable seating position. Um, the tachometer right here, the analog. One little thing, you're not going to know how much gas you have left on your tank. That's, that's one thing about this that I'm not a huge fan of. 
you kind of have to either mark it off every time with your trip A, trip B, and just pay attention to that uh, and see how much miles you're getting out of each ride. Or you could just pull over when your um, gas uh, light turns on. I used to do both. I used to measure it by my trips, and then if the light goes on, I used to uh, go ahead and get some gas. It's just you're gonna get pretty scared when you're in an area where there's no gas stations and anywhere nearby. And I had a few scares on Long Island a few times when I had my E83, where it was like miles and miles and miles without a, a gas station. And uh, at one point, I almost, literally, almost died. Well, the bike died. This is why this bike is so good, because you see this little, these little ways right here. I could get in here, I can get into there. This is perfect for that. There you go. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even go over the weather today in, out here in dirty Jersey. Beautiful hot day. High of 95 degrees, believe it or not. Uh, but at least we got some blue skies, clear skies, baby. Not a cloud in sight. Woo! <laughs> See those bumps? Yeah, those bumps will throw you up in the air. Now, this bike is also fitted with some uh, beautiful mag wheels that I, uh, I'm a big fan of. I, I actually, I love the design of these wheels. I think they look great. I love the whole blacked out look on the a83 um that's it's one of the reasons why it, it attracts so much attention it's definitely an eye catcher due to that people just love the all blacked out thing even now when you're looking at baggers or if you're looking at my uh low rider s you'll see that everything is blacked out um and it's it's just it's just the popular thing forget about chrome everybody just wants black so my dyna my dyna is all chromed out so I got one combed out, one blacked out, and well, two blacked out now. Let's take it on the highway. Oh, topped out. So yeah, you'll do 90 on here. Should do 80 and 90. Easy. So yeah, she'll go up to 80 and 90, even 100. But the only thing with that is that the bike is gonna sound like it wants to just give up. But she'll do it. But it's just like, oh, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Hey, yeah, there's people out there who have done uh, 110 on here or claim to do 115. Now that we're talking about speed, we're talking about uh, power, uh, this bike is also gonna come outfitted with five gears lean angle on these bikes uh are not the best uh you will be scraping pegs on those uh on those sharp twisties i used to scrape peg on this bike all the time so not the best lean angle i cannot wait to uh get these pipes on this bike man it's gonna sound amazing uh, i'm gonna be doing a comparison stock sound to the pipes i don't want to say yet what they are i don't want to spoil the surprise but it's gonna it's gonna make this bike look and sound great um no it's not a 201 because i have a tbr 201 on my both bikes but it's not a tbr it's not a 201 um the air cleaner as well same brand as exhaust that i'm getting beautiful design as well 
And um, we'll, we'll see what we uh, what we're gonna have with this bike. By the way, guys, these are my brand new tour gloves here. My new leather gloves. These things are amazing. They make them new now with the logo here in the front. Um, so if you want to go use my promo code for these gloves or anything you want on the Torque website, you can save yourself some cash. You save 15% by using my promo code, MK15. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's a little kid right there, man. Went up that head, a little bump. <laughs> Oh man, I gotta say this bike is fun, man. This bike is really, really fun. Even coming off my bikes that are my little rider rest is a monster. Uh, getting on this bike is obviously not gonna be the same amount of uh, power and torque, but it's definitely fun. It's definitely a bike you can take around and have a great time. And and people are gonna love. People are gonna they're gonna stop you anywhere you go with this bike, and they're gonna compliment you on it. Because believe it or not, even though sportsters get so much hate, people love them. And sometimes it's those people that really love them that hate them, if that makes any sense. It's not haters. Is it a girl bike? No. It's not a girl bike. Is it a toy? No, it's not a toy. Is it a bicycle? No, it's not a bicycle. It's a great bike, man. It's a bike that will last you forever. It's a bike that you can transform into any type of style you're gonna want whether it be in a club style a cafe racer type of bike um a bobber type of bike just the the possibilities are pretty much endless with this bike and you, you'll literally see 10 883s lined up and they will all probably look the, they, they will all look different it's so easy to work on as well now this bike only comes obviously with uh one seat for the rider but you can also add a pillion seat on there to uh, have a passenger in the back is it the best option no once again the suspension on here sucks so your passenger is not going to be comfortable at all and we'll go back home and uh, we'll do a quick walk around of the bike and um, conclude the video so we got a stock light up here no LEDs, no LEDs on here as well, but you can get some cheap LEDs on Amazon. I'm actually going to be adding an Amazon light on here, uh, and I'm going to be linking it up. I'm going to do that video. Uh, it's going to cost you like 30, 40 bucks for a light, guys, and the, um, the difference is going to be immense. Um, we'll do the same thing with the turn signals. Um, these are a close look at the wheels right here huge fan the bike is a little dirty we gotta definitely give her a shower clean her up um after we install the exhaust and the air cleaner we'll do a nice little nice little shampoo shower get her nice and cleaned up for you guys we're gonna get rid of these um reflectors here as well to clean the front look of the bike um this bike also has mid controls so i am five seven guys um i fit pretty good on this bike i'm able to flat foot it um you can also change this up and have some forward controls if you are a taller rider um just to get everything nice and comfortable for you um the previous owner on this added these passenger uh, pegs so it's a plus uh, i'm not going to be adding a, a rear sheet on there but it's just there um i might actually even take it off just just to clean the look up of everything uh, belt driven just like any other Harley there is out there you got the uh, chop No huge difference in this bike in the last uh, five or six, seven years. Uh, previous to that, it, uh, it was a little different. They, as far as paint schemes and little details here and there, but for the most part, uh, Sportster's just been what it what you see here uh, for a really, really long time. Um, that's gonna pretty much 
be it guys if you're new to my channel make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button it's gonna notify you anytime i upload any type of new content there's gonna be a lot of lot of content coming up with this bike my 2020 lowrider s and my 15 dyna so tune in for that i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace